Hey guys, welcome back to more World of Guns Gun Assembly. We're gonna do the shooting range mode here. It's an alternate mode you can do. So we have to hit five targets. Um, maximum targets, 255, you have 30 shots. So. I don't think time's as big a factor as getting accuracy. And then yeah, if you... If you kind of go in and out of sights, it, it's kind of good there. But as you shoot, you kind of get wavier, so. Time is somewhat a factor, I think. So, but maybe it isn't at all. Not exactly sure how it works. Where's the wave there? Okay. No. Oh. Perfect. 262. It's enough to beat the achievement thing. So, need to get 255 to get the achievement? Gorgeous. Hey guys, welcome back to more shooting range. I've been practicing this one a couple times, and it's a combination between you have to hit your shots, but you also gotta, um, you gotta do it as fast as possible. Every shot you miss, you get deducted in time for. So it makes kind of an interesting exercise. The moving targets are what really get me though. But you can get lucky and not get as many moving targets like here. I really haven't got any yet, so that's kind of nice. But the thing about the moon targets is you just can't can't be too crazy with them. Just make sure you need them. Don't shoot too many shots at once. Oh, oops, that's bad. Miss a bunch of shots there. Being, being too hasty on my trigger. You want to aim center mass because it doesn't really matter where you hit. And then we're just the oop. No. Reload. Okay. Perfect. Lead the target. Lead the target. Oop. Holy crap, missed a lot of shots there. But just keep going. Don't give up. Stay confident in your shots. Remember to go in and out, else you'll get too wavy. Then you'll start missing shots there as well. Okay. Okay, not doing too bad. We don't get too many moving targets. It's pretty easy to hit the stationary targets. Or the close moving targets. They're not as bad either. Okay. Couple more rounds of that one. Oop. No. Okay, there's that one. Got about a click and a little bit more than that. 127. Perfect! We just made it in pretty good time. Not that our time was great, it's that our we hit all our shots. Perfect. Okay, so next mission, hit every target five times, do it as fast as possible. Automatic. Uh, what's the difference here? No, I'm not sure what the difference is. Probably just be different types of targets, maybe. Are they all moving targets, maybe? Oops, shit, I missed it. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're just all moving targets. So I figure you can reload as often as you want. If you have, but you gotta shoot the number of shot, the requisite number of shots. Either way. So I want to reload here before the next target comes. And I lose as little time as possible. Rather close. The close ones you don't have to lead as much. The far ones you definitely have to lead them a little bit. Oh, reload. Get the sights. Get that target down. Perfect. Perfect. Got that one right away. Haste makes waves. There. So I went a little bit too fast there and missed a couple of shots, which is kind of bad. But it's nice if you can kill them before they get to, to cover, so you don't lose that second. That's actually a pretty good reload. It's a good reload, and then I missed a bunch of shots though, as though they'd be back there. This is my last remote. There we go. Perfect. We completed this one as well. Golden. Okay. Um, fast as possible. Okay. Yeah. As fast as possible again. Okay, I'm going to do the last objective here. So, kind of two things here. You can aim. Too, too high, because then you'll get misses. You also want to reload when your gun gets low. You're going to afford about five shots in each target, I found. So if you can take out six targets in a clip, you're doing just gorgeous. Perfect. See, that's just perfection right there. Again, you don't want to shoot, you want to try to shoot them as fast as possible, but you really, really don't want to get misses because you're auto-firing too much. I kind of recommend two-shot bursts. There I did three two-shot bursts, which ended up using one too many shot there. So. Sometimes you end up with like four shots, and you end up with an extra bullet. I'm not sure how that works. Remember, you're on the clock, so you want to do it as fast as possible. A lot of stuff to pay attention to, though, actually. Oop, over here. The reason I go out of my sights every time is so I can track where the next um, this thing is going to pop up. Oh, could I add that extra round in the clip? Just barely nicked her. Well, that's the hard part is you can lose your concentration for a second. And you have a couple misses, and it's so rough. You gotta really concentrate on every target hitting right on. And it's hard because there's a lot of targets, that's a lot of concentration. Especially because I'm trying to talk to you guys as well. Ooh. See, when I'm talking, I kind of lose my concentration, but I want to talk because that's what makes it a let's play instead of a let's watch me play. But, again. There's a focus on them. Oop, shit. Again, just talking and not paying attention to my shooting. Oop. Couple misses there. 149. Did we get 705? We did. 720. Perfect. 
So that is all the shooting challenges here. We go back. We've got four. One, two, three, four. That's a pretty nifty amount of experience as well. So it's at 400 each times four. It's 1600 experience. And it's considering the range on the cost of 1000, you do pretty good. So one has to cost two, but how much do you get for each range? Yeah, so if you complete the range, well, if you complete the range, you actually break Eevee. Easy, but this one it was a thousand, so I actually made experience. But really, experience isn't that hard to get. It's really quite easy. So, like, I have 45,000 experience still, so. But it will go pretty quick too, like, if you look at how much this gun costs, 12,000. That's kind of a higher level gun, like, I think this one costs a lot less, 8, 5, 8, 5, so, they kind of vary, but, but the further you get away, the more expensive the guns get, so, you gotta keep that in mind. But anyway guys, thanks for coming out for more World of Guns Gun Assembly, and we'll be back in the next one for more. Later guys.